guys, today we'll be opening a box by Style Forever. And inside we have the airbrush plush. We got two. One that's a unicorn and another one that's a puppy. Here's a note. Here's some markers and some templates. Go follow them on their social medias. I'll be in the corner. Let's get opening the box. Inside we, the box, we have the plush and some other markers as well, and the instructions. We also have the air brush. Inside the box, we also have some gloves that you should wear so you don't get dirty. And here's the airbrush that you first have to put the batteries on. There is a, for you to turn it on, and it turns on. You just press the button. You open the marker and you put it, the marker at the end of it in the airbrush. Make sure it's in there. And now it's all done. Now we're gonna choose a template to use for the designs. And I'm gonna be using some, almost like a cheetah print, and I'm gonna press it on. So all you need to do is press on the plush and make sure it sticks there. And you wanna do your designs with any color that you want. Right now I'm gonna do purple, and I'm gonna do an aubrey. For now, I'm going to do purple on the top and some pink on the bottom. Now we're going to switch the colors and put the cap on. And now we're getting the pink. Now I'm going to insert it and color it in. It's super fun. And it's super easy to do as well. Now I'm gonna finish this up and I'll come back when it's done. Okay, so on the very bottom, I'm gonna use the blue. The colors are so vibrant and super bright. I love it so much. And the blue is super pretty as well. And I'm making sure it gets colored in. All of it. Now I'm making sure I get all the colors and I'm blending them in and making sure I don't leave any spots. And now we're gonna use another pattern that is almost like stripes but waved, wavy kinda. <laughs> and I'm gonna use a different color now and I'll be using yellow. I'm going to put it on the spots that I didn't leave colored. And now I'm getting the spots. Making sure I don't leave anything. Blending them as much as I can. And now we're going to do the hair and I'm going to do like a split. As you can tell, I'm going to do a split with pink on one side and the other I'm going to do another color. Now I'm just going to finish it up and making sure I get the back. As you can tell, I'm all the pink. Now I'm gonna do blue. I'm making sure to be blended as much as I can. Making sure I don't leave any spots. It's super pretty, I love it so much. It reminds me of cotton candy. <laughs> I'm almost done, and now I'm gonna do the tail, in which I'm gonna use the, I love the purple so much, and the pink, and the blue. I like them all. And I'm gonna do it as the second layer. bright and making sure I don't leave any spots um, going in with another coat the blue for the hair and I'm gonna use the blue as well for the tail so now I'm gonna use a, another type of for the half of the pink I'm gonna do like I'm gonna be using the purple around it to have like a vibe I don't know and now I'm gonna use a lightning strike and using the blue for that side. Now I'm making all the colors more bright. 
I'm getting the spots around it, making sure I don't leave anything out. Now I'm going in as an ombre with the purple and making sure it looks super nice. Okay, now I'm doing another design on the back and I'm gonna do a shooting star. And for the star, I'm using yellow, of course, making sure I don't leave any spots. And now we're gonna use the purple. I'm gonna get in, making sure it's in there. And now we're gonna get the more in the back. Now I'm doing a shooting star on the bottom one. I'm gonna do purple. And then I'm gonna use pink on the top one and blending it in kinda. Then blue on the top. Now making sure it's blended out with the other colors. And let's now do the back of the head, in which I'm doing some different prints. And I'm adding one more on the back. That's super easy to put on. You just put it, press, and making sure it stays there. There's so many patterns that you can choose from. It's super cool to like make your own designs. Now I'm fixing it up, making sure how I want it to look like. And I'm going to use a flower on the top. Now we're going to use the pink and lightly brush it over it. As you can tell. Getting some spots and making sure everything is nice and how I want it to be. Okay, now I'm going to do the purple making sure I blend it out I'm doing the same as the pink in which I'm lightly pressing it on the head and making sure I get the spot it's super easy to do I love it so much almost done now I'm gonna be doing the like kind of blending it in as you can tell, making sure I get some spots and not leaving anything empty. Getting all the spots in the back as well. The feet. And making sure I don't like color anything that I don't want to as well. It's super pretty. I'm fixing up the colors a tad bit. Now we're going to do a moon, which is going to look super nice. Now we're peeling it off. Slowly, look how pretty. It has a really cool pattern. And now you can lightly like, put your colors to like blend it out a little bit. Super easy. Now we can peel off the moon, which is super pretty. Look at that. I'm gonna lightly press it on. And now we're gonna do the shooting star. And look! It's so pretty! And now let's do the back, in which I'm so excited for. <laughs> this one took me some time to peel it off, but I finally got it. It looks super nice and it looks super fresh. It has a really cool pattern as well. And now let's do the flower. And look at there. Super pretty. Now let's do another star. That's on the pink side. It looks super nice. And the lightning strike. It's super pretty and super easy to do. And I kind of put the yellow in some spots. Look at the horns, the back, the tail. Super nice. Thank you so much, Candle Toys, for sending me the airbrush plush. It was super fun to do it and I love it super much. It's super colorful and it's really nice to play with. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye.